Hey guys, Lexi here back with some more Nino Kuni. Last time uh, we finished the Solosium series, and now I want to do some side quests. So let's start off by doing the stuff here. And stop. Gosh, oh, I, I should have done Nature's Tongue before. Oh, oh shit! Request take this addendum, please. Okay, Thunder Spark Gem. Cool. Uh, who else are they talking to? You? Uh, Nature's Tongue. You brought this, uh, party along to help you. A party? Wonderful, thank you. Oh, slush, that's better. Oh, water can thank you. Please take this leaflet to do say thanks. Big sea dude. Friends and all, you don't really are. Wait, okay, so I still have my potty. So I can bubble that up now. Where's that? Nature's tongue. Look, we brought you a friend just like I promised. R really? Oh, this is great. Thank you, really. I just want to talk to another mushroom, someone who really knows what it's like, you know? Please take this. It's a way to say thanks. Five look. Do I still have mine? Okay. I don't really need it. I already have all the caps. I've done a lot for the creature side. In fact, I think Toka's got a special present for me. Little present? Wait, what did they say something? I don't really know. Oh shit. My friends here tell me you've been working very hard to help them. What a fine reason you are. A little something that so he wanted to give you our way of saying thanks. It's a name tag. You obtained a name tag. Take the tag to the familiar retreat. You could use it to change your familiar names. And help us see how happy they all look. How well you seem to get off with them. Keep them a nice new name and bet they'll come even closer. Oh, cool. I kind of want to rename Dean to Gino, <laughs> so that's good. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> one thing I found out where the last chest was. It's the one that was I was full on my inventory and couldn't get. So I'll show you. Uh, show you that. Also, um, I did get the thousand battles achievement off camera. Trying to get the scrolls of uh, scrolls of truth for that other quest. Oh, it's good. I did not even get a single. One. <laughs> so I've been farming for that, and I haven't gotten one yet. I did get the Kaleida stones, or whatever they're called. But uh, wait, that's not, I'm so used to landing here for the Angulas. I went to the rock lab. Get the ship down there. Should be here. This chest. <laughs> okay, I'll use Seek Fortune for the last time. What? I was right! Oh, it's this thing. No? What? Here. Yeah, Treasure Hunter awarded for finding all hidden treasures. Cool. I'm done with that. What else? Uh, oh yeah, you're almost level... Uh, up. Yep. Uh, he's almost done. Almost done. These two are not almost done, so I gotta deal with that. But anyway, let's go travel. Uh, today I wanna do... The Horus quest. Cause, uh... I wanna... Uh, I looked it up because I thought <laughs> he was gone forever, but apparently he's back to where we first met him, so let's do that. I do want to go here. Uh... Okay, so I can ring it. <laughs> Catastros. Catastroic. Catastros. <laughs> uh, I want to go D. D. No. Uh... 
want to change his name too much. <laughs> Dino. Yeah, I thought Horus was going to be more important to the main story, but I guess not since he's a side quest. Uh, let's... Oh wait, no, it's not nature stuff. It's the uh, spirit medium. Holy, we're here at last. I've been waiting for ages. Hi, Horus. Hey, this is... This is where we met him in the first place. Seems like flippin' Asians ago, that does. Hang on, didn't he say he'd come back to where we first met him when he remembered something? Horus, does that beat your memory? Not quite, but I did remember one thing. What? What was it? Come on, man, spit it out. Haha, <laughs> patience, pipsqueak. Holly, I bet you want to solve another riddle before I tell you, don't you? Oh, I guess. Hey, something I actually will say. You see the bobby limit here? It has some Neskin runes on it. You're a clue to something in the wizard's companion. Could you work out what it is? Holy shit. Okay. Fast forward through uh, doing this. Um. Wow, oh, breeze. Oh shit! I actually have to do this. Okay, time to do it. Make stroke of first and second spell. Ooh, make another that serve you well. Go. Well, this is a. <laughs> uh, mix. To make another that will serve you well. Uh, okay. Mix the fur mix the black stroke of the first and second spell. It's like that. It's like a like the V and has the upside down four. Wait, let me do the upside down four first. So it's easier to make the V. Does it have to be in the right order? Mimic? Well, no, it's not even the right shape. <laughs> okay. This? No, not even right. Just gotta look at that 4 shape. Set on 4 with a thing that's upside down. And a 4. I think it has a 4. I mean, mimic? Fortune's fool? Is this the first? Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> this is the first and second one. <laughs> uh, good thing I checked the number. So it's uh, greater than omega. Greater than Omega. Oh, here. Unleash. Only one with Omega. Yeah, let, let's try that. <laughs> I'll let that forever. You managed to decipher the Neskin runes, Ali. You're a clue to something in the Wizard's Companion. You can work out what it is. Uh, where's... Un... E... <laughs> Am I dyslexic? <laughs> yes, but uh... Unleash... That's right, well done, I'm very impressed, Ollie! All you had to do was combine the two simple spells, form familiar and gateway to make a super duper one, Unleash! It's a reminder that no matter how far you go, you should never forget the basics. Solving it is proof that you're ready to learn another super duper spell. Holy shit, the thunder I could do an electric attack finally. <laughs> At the end of the game. Thank you, Horus. Alright, enough of the big head talk. What was it you remembered? I remembered the ash. Ash, you mean? So you know about the white ash that fell here too, do you? 
Adesh, the mana, it turned all the people into horrible monsters. When I saw it, I remembered. That's how I died, too. Jeepers! Well, I never. A long, long time ago, the same ash fell. It killed us all. But that's all I remember. Boris. I heard that the big stone here was a monument to the Sage of Ages. So I thought if I came here, it might help me to remember. But I don't think this is where I died. There's something else I need to remember. Something more important. I'm gonna carry on traveling and I need a place where I died. Okay. If I could find it, I think I might remember everything. I have to try. See you again soon. Where is it though? Uh, well, there's one place. So the top right area, either there or in Nazca, <laughs> or the two guesses, my two guesses, or in the miasma area, but I can't get there. I tried. <laughs> so let's go to Nazca because I could teleport there. Uh, I'll, I'll just cut to where I think it is, but I'll check Aska first. Hmm? No blue dots. But inside. But what was that? No quest here, but Horus didn't have a quest. Uh, <laughs> that's why I didn't even look, check to look. What the? <laughs> I was literally about to teleport out, <laughs> and I saw <laughs> this guy. Uh oh, good thing he spawned in. Is this horse? Ah, oh, it has been a while, has it not? Ah, oh, sorry, sir, have you bet? <laughs> you really don't know. Well, I suppose I have changed my appearance somewhat since we last met. What a flicker head is it on about? Oliver, I have been waiting for you. I have a tale I dearly wish to share with you. Oh, uh, okay, whoever you are. It was once a kingdom where we now stand. Mighty King united the surrounding lands and established his realm here. The King treated all of his subjects equally, be they humans, animals, or magical creatures. A new era of peace was dawning, or so it seemed. There were those who despised the King, covetous souls who envied his power. They plotted against him, sowing discord throughout the kingdom, and in doing set Asuka on the road to ruin. But there, my memory becomes hazy, cannot recall their names, nor even their outward appearance. Were there twelve? Even now, that my amnesia has been cured, their faces remain hidden to me. Listen, Mon, I'm not sure what you want us to say. It ain't as if we got the first slipping clue what the rotters look like. I know that, but I also know that I recorded my fears about them somewhere. I left a message, a warning, so that when people saw them, they would know to beware, but where? Yes, I hid them in- oh my god, oh no. <laughs> hid in a magical tome that would never age or decay to Wizard's Companion. Which means you must have seen it, I think. I wanted people to know what they looked like, perhaps what they wore, yes, that makes sense. Robes that they wore are described somewhere in that book, along with a warning, you must know where it is. I'm sure that the key that will unlock my memories. Please help me recover what remains of my missing past. Uh... <laughs> it was they who discovered the root of strife. It was they who undermined the noble king, those twelve evil souls. But I cannot seem to recall what they look like. Certain they that I hid a warning in the magic book you hold. Something to show the reader what they look like. Please tell me the name of the garment they wore. Uh, they all dressed alike. Why can I not remember what they wore? Uh, something. 
I really don't want to translate this right now. <laughs> uh, wait, I already did translate this, I think. Wait. No words on that. There is words on his robe. I remember that was what he had. Cause it's not finest fiber. I remember. What the hell does that say? That I smell. <laughs> uh... I'd have to look this up. I have no idea. Okay. Just looked it up. <laughs> uh, here? looked at the item see you here <laughs> I would have never gotten this I looked at the other wizards robes for the <laughs> recipes but it's actually in the equipment and then in wizards robe it says be where <laughs> that's how they look oh that is how they look that's the robes that they wore <laughs> okay that makes sense but uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to write oh <laughs> I would have never gotten that. <laughs> uh, how do I <laughs> Wizard bro? Wizard space rope. Oh my god. It's wizard. Well, oh, I need the apostrophe. Please, no. <laughs> okay, I guess I need to do full grammar. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, that's right. Now I remember. Those fiends clad themselves in wizard's robes. I could see them now, deep in deliberation. They were a council of twelve. Each member was given the title of Zodiac. And, and that is not all. Well, come on, Mon. Spit it out. What have you remembered? I was there all those millennia ago. I swore fealty to the wizard king. Yes, I now remember. The Sage of Nazca. Or, but that means, did you know Cassiopeia? Oh, what? How do you know that name? Cassiopeia. Queen Cassiopeia. It was so long ago. I've sensed her spirit at times over the years. It is unmistakably her, but I know not what befell her. I think I better take over here. Well, I'll pay attention, because I'll only say this once. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I see. So Queen Cassiopeia, she gave into the darkness, and that ash I saw fall on Tingdungdil, that was her doing. But Oliver, you really might be one to save her. I already did. The wizard king entrusted you with his wand, after all. Oh, we'll say we saved her, sir. I just know we did. Ah, uh, that's the spirit. Of course, the wizard king's wand is not yet at full strength. Let me hack not this again. Ah, uh, fear not. 
to one who was once called the Sage of Ages. It is but a trifling matter. Eh, so we don't have to go tracing around after magic stones then. Thank Flip for that. Now let me begin. Awake, O Wand of the Wizard King. Awake, O Astra. Holy shit! Awarded for learning all Oliver's spells. Yeah, Astra. So it's uh, all ready to go now, huh? Gee, thank you, sir. The true power to dwells within a wand can sometimes require effort to be drawn out. I believe that you alone can harness the full power of Astra. With it, you will be able to cast spells that only a king and not wizard has ever wielded. I hope so. And you're sure you're all right setting these likes of us loose with such snazzy spells? We've just met you, after all. <laughs> you have never had a problem accepting spells from me before. You what? What do you mean before? Hold a minute, you're not telling me. You're Horus? <laughs> I was wondering when the a gilder would drop. Better late than never, indeed. Idiot. <laughs> I was what's the sage known as Orologium. Orologium, or Horus, to my friends. Who'd thought a mouthy little brat like Horus would have grown up to be so important looking, eh? How many times must I tell you I was the Sage of Ages? I was no normal boy. Idiot. Wow. Wow, so does that mean you finally got your memory back? Indeed it does. I have much to thank you for. Now there's little I can do to save Queen Cassiopeia in my current state. I'm afraid that I must only ask you do all in your power to free her from the darkness. Sure thing, Horace. We'll save her. You see, if we don't... You are a brave and pure-hearted warrior, Oliver. I will pray for your success. Yeah, uh, Oliver, there's something I need to tell you. Is it Horus? Tell you about Nazca and Cassiopeia, and about myself. Or you have time to save Cassiopeia. You deserve to know the truth. Holy shit, it's another quest! <laughs> may take some time, but I hope you could spare time to listen to what I have to say. Great, great, grand sage. Sage the Looking Ghost has been waiting at Era Memoria. Seems he has something important to say. Listen to what Horus has to say. Agree to tell you. Sure, let's do it. Gonna be a Horus episode today. Thank you, Oliver. Our story begins here long ago, where the kingdom of Nazca once flourished. Though it may appear bleak and barren now, in those days it was a mighty empire that combined ma mighty magic with advancement technology. It was a preposterous realm where poverty and pestilence were all but unknown, and its people enjoyed a life of peace and plenty. Man was never wont to count his blessings, and greed soon reared its ugly head. In spite of all they had, the populace demanded more. Friends turned upon it one another, families were torn apart, and each citizen strove to better his own lot, out to his neighbor. Sounds like a recipe for a right old mess, that. And indeed it was. Led to a series of conflicts to a would span centuries the wizard wars. But the course of history has changed with the arrival of a single wizard. Wow, one wizard made that big of a difference? Indeed, the wizard wielded not one, but two wands. Mastery of magic was unparalleled. He soon turned the tide of the war. Though his power, the bitter pokal, like that many thought would never end, was brought to a conclusion in the space of mere days. Crikey, sounds like someone you'd want your side in your fight. It was indeed a fairy. He was lauded as the hero by all the peoples of the world. His reward was the crown of Nazca. Thus did he become the Wizard King. Wizard King? Cassiopeia's father? Very safe. Now shortly after peace returned to the world, Wizard King hid one of his wands in the distant land of Atamina. Build it away, that it might never be used for evil. Brings me to my latest puzzle. It's been some time since I last posed you a question, has it not? Not really, it's been like a few minutes. I guess it has, huh? Excellent. My question is this. What is the name of the wand that the Wizard King sealed away? I believe I, you know it well. Speak to me again when you have your answer. Uh, I think I wrote it down. So I don't have to translate it again. Is it hope? I don't even want to read it. Let me just guess. Ah. Uh, H O P E. Damn it. 
Certain name we were familiar with. Either Orange Star, Astra, or Old Sting. <laughs> okay. Indeed. It was the very one that you carry with you now. Wonder how the valley where it was sealed fares. Those days, it was filled with the most beautiful flowers. Let us continue our tale there. I will be waiting for you, Oliver. Come and find me. Holy shit, whoa, where am I supposed to go? Uh, you know what, let me read the uh, spells. Where else thunder? I think I was here somewhere. Did this one thunderstorm? Thunderstorm, summon a terrifying tempest that splits the sky in twain. No wizard should go into battle without first having mastered the spell. Oops. <laughs> Not only does the fearsome power of the storm cause damage to your enemies, but it can also blow them away to a safe distance. Care must be taken, of course, to ensure that no innocent bystanders are caught up into chaos. And... So the spell, Astra. Astra. Cast a spell known only to legend, but that only those in possession of a certain all-surpassing wand are capable of casting this ancient spell. Indeed, only one wizard in history is believed to have performed it successfully. Sadly, the name of the lord among sages has long since been lost to the of time. What's his name again? Orogalu? What? Where'd he go? Oh shit. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I was looking all over the place. It's in Tombstone Trail, so I'm gonna grab the chest and then uh, see you there. Okay, here's the Tombstone Trail purple chest. Dark Cloud Jump. Shit, some of these guys. So these are the guys I've been farming for like Let's two go! hours. Before I started, and uh, I still haven't gotten the item I need for the other quest. Uh, not these guys specifically. So I might as well try Astro. Oh. Forgot I just. <laughs> of course, I do. Damn, Astro looks cool. Let me. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been farming here for like two hours. That's where I got my thousand battles achievement. Been specifically farming that guy and Wait a minute. Oh yeah, this area. <laughs> we kinda went around. Watch uh, this! Uh, Reflex. Let me, let me actually show what Astro is. Actually, really good. Uh, I'll try Thunder also. Thunderstorm. That's quick to We've won! 
host but guys specifically were what I was farming. It's the other variant of the thumpers. The one with the keyboard in its back. Are you kidding me? Do I really have to go speak to you every time? Thank you for coming over. This valley changed so much. It was once a place of beauty. Washed with flowers of every color. No matter what is done is done. Let me continue my tale. The wizard king ascended the throne. In one great renown as a just ruler. Treating all his subjects equally. Either human or otherwise. They in turn repaid him by rallying round their new monarch. And together they rebuilt the ruined realm more swiftly than any had thought possible. So he got all the beasties pulling their weight too, did he? Never knew that, Mon. Nice. Indeed, the Wizard King truly was a man like no other. It was then, with the kingdom all but rebuilt, he chose three servants from among his subjects. A swashbuckling sea captain to represent the race of men, a great wolf to represent the animals, and a serpent lord to represent the creatures. Is that... Wolf. Wolf was the... Ranga looking guy. Serpent Lord was the A Pep, A Pop, Pep, pep something like that, and the Swashbuckling one was the pirate dude. <laughs> Each was wholly devoted to his master and did all that the Wizard King asked. But of the three, the Serpent Lord was the wisest and the most committed to his master's cause. He was known as the King of Cobras, and what a mind he had. Ah, to think how he was then. Seems a good time as any for your next question. You have encountered these three servants of your on your travels. But can you recall the name of the mighty snake you faced? Oh, that's the only one I kinda know. <laughs> you're listening to me will have served to jog your memory. Yep. Give me a good one when you have your answer. Uh A Yep. A pep. Shit. Uh, a pep. A pep. Damn. Okay, now I gotta lay it. Check. In the book. even one of these people. Oh yeah, Sir Boreas. Okay. Was. Oh, he's one of these. What? No. wasn't in my companion book. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta look this up. What's his name? Cobra King's name. God damn. Alright, I looked it up. It's A-A. <laughs> Pep. Oh my god. It's correct. Though the three servants achieved so much, their reward was to be chased 
without dignity from the kingdom they had helped to build. But perhaps that is a tale for another day. Yes, continue your tale in the very ruins where you faced Apep. I'll tell you of how the Wizard King's three most loyal servants were driven to the path of evil. Well then, Oliver. I, I know. I know where this is at. I'm pay, paying attention to where he's telling me to go. <laughs> See you there. Shit. There's a golden uh, toko, whatever they're called again. Here goes nothing. Here goes. <laughs> What can I say? It's a gift. See what I get. What? That's it? Oh man. Yeah, I leveled up though. Um, yeah, I probably should switch out. Oh shit, that scared me. Oh, can we? Fancy your chances, do you? I think. I could buy those. Or make them, I don't remember. three keepers were driven from the kingdom, how they became evil. Below the king, the head of the Nazcan government, sat the Council of Twelve, a group of lords known as the Zodiarchs, were responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the kingdom, and were supposed to be the ruler's closest advisors. The wizard king's rise to prominence was a source of consternation for the council, who feared his great power and the loyalty he commanded amongst the keepers. And so, as the Naskin was rebuilt, his ability restored, the Zodiarchs conspired to assassinate him, and, they con and their conspiracy was success. Now that's horrible. The Wizard King eliminated. The Council had complete control of their kingdom. The king's infant heir, Queen Cassiopeia, became no more than a puppet. Compound their villainy. Council successfully implicated the Keepers in this assassination, and they were banished from Nesca. Apep lost all faith in humanity, and soon the power of the stone in his position began to corrupt him, forming him in, at last into a serpent of evil. Indeed, it was he who reduced this once great city to the ruins you see before you now. That's bad like, but you gotta feel sorry for a minute. Being framed for murdering your mate would be enough to make anyone go off the rails. Perhaps, but Apep possessed great wisdom. None could have predicted that he would suffer such a spectacular fall from grace. True. Speaking of predictions, yes, open the book. You made a wizard companion. I do. As you may or may not know, its authors were able to see into the future. Turn to the final page. A prophecy is written there. Prophecy of what would become of a certain individual. That person's name, too, is hidden there. You discover its identity. 
puzzle is much like life. You must start at the bottom and work your way to the top, not forgetting to begin at the beginning, of course. The solution is not a simple one, but a worthy wizard will see to the heart of the problem. Oh my god. Last pages. Wait, isn't this the last page? Your own self be true, all rests upon you. Hark unto the child, mark what would she would say. Each time you fear that you have lost your way, when you find them, you will find her bower. Hope springeth yet amidst the flowers. Its walls are too high, its mysteries too deep, though full many have sought to breach her keep. Tomb there in her ivory tower, well knoweth she both their power. One fought with suffering and despair, path unto the dawn was never fair. As the world once more into the darkest night, the clouds the child of white light, eat it, repeat, not of the mistakes of the past. Permit us to leave you with a poem, a poet prophecy, and you shall one day be called a sage. This book, at ever your side wizard, comes like darkness out of... <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to read it up bottom up, but I did. Give the answers. No. no. Look at the rest of life. You must start at the bottom and work your way to the top, not forgetting to begin at the beginning. Not read too much of what's written on the page. In fact, you could ignore almost every letter of it. What? So I was supposed to go. They are talking about Cassiopeia, right? Uh, you know what? Look, let's start with the easy one. P. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's correct. Perhaps one day the people of this world will see that the White Witch had nothing but the best intentions. But first, she must make amends for what she did. Spare is no excuse. Row be in jail. Yes, you're right. I remember when she was a kind little girl who loved flowers and flawless. That is a story for another time. If you're interested, I plan to visit a cave that lets one see into the past. Cave. Shh, to see the old Cassiopeia once more. Cave that sees an Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, the ice cave. I was grinding there too earlier. <laughs> There's a cave unless you see the pass. You have not heard of it, I'm sure. I'm certain that it was mentioned in that book of yours. You have discovered the location. Come and gaze into it or something. <laughs> Until then, Oliver. See you. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's the glittering cave. Remember, there's mom and Swain's dad was there. Oh shit, okay. Maybe I even have the uh, little pillars still. <laughs> For you, Oliver. Shall we continue our tale? Flowers always held a special significance for the people of the kingdom of Nazca. They were seen as sacred symbols of peace and hope. Queen Cassiopeia loved nothing in the world more than flowers, and her every free moment was spent tending to her garden. Her castle was always bursting with color, with beautiful, bright flowers of every imaginable hue. Cassiopeia grew to be a splendid, spirited young woman. Everything her father could have wished for, and all that I had hoped she would become. Ah, so you knew Queen Cassiopeia when she was growing up? I did. I knew her when she was a mere babe in arms. I digress. Let's talk of flowers and gardens. Reminds me, you have a wand made of an old stick, do you not? I mean the wand P gave me? That wand is a gift from the Wizard King and I to the young Cassiopeia. Was Jeepers? On it, we engraved our most deeply held wish for the prince's future. Oh, so long ago. Wish to hear those words again. Tell me, Oliver, what does it say? Uh, hope? No, no, no. Let me just type in hope. Nope. 
Uh, check my, my notes and it says bring hope. I'm glad I actually wrote this down. Hopefully. I'm gonna paint it. Hold. That is correct. Our most deeply held desire was that the people of Nazca should never lose hope for a brighter tomorrow. But what, bell, what befell the kingdom after the Wizard King's untimely demise put said to any such wishes. Council of Twelve devoted themselves solely to personal gain, but nothing of the plight of the people. If only, if only I had done more. What do you mean, Horace? said that I would tell you the truth, did I not? There's something I must confess to you. Something I did, an act of which I can never forgive myself. Come to dive, Victoria, to the chamber where the council sat. There, I shall tell you everything. Well then, Oliver. Shit. Uh, okay. Oh shit, it's the knight. Man, I've been wanting to talk to him, but I... <laughs> Do that next time, because my voice is dying. I just want to finish the, <laughs> the horse, because these are a lot long quests. I thought it was going to be shorter. <laughs> I'm going to try to avoid all the battles. Respawn.
your chances, do you? Here goes! I just did a thousand damage. Let's get much without it. Ah, I love 100. Pretty good. Better luck next time! I've seen that eye catcher here. <laughs> it's crazy. Here goes! <laughs> Beat the game. <laughs> there he is.
been waiting for you, Oliver. Shall we continue our tale? Long before I ever became known as the Sage of Ages, I in the Wizard Wars alongside my teacher, the Wizard King. I often think of those days. How long has it been since I was last here, I wonder? Lie me, Oris. You're saying you've been the, to this gaff before alike? Indeed I have. Years after the Wizard Wars, I accompanied the tenth seat of the council, taking the zodiacal title of Gallus. Gallus? Gallus? But isn't that, you know, him? Ah oh, yes, the Wizard King's ruse. Even in death, he strove to protect his daughter. It was later, of course, after my seat had become vacant. But we are getting ahead of ourselves when I sat on that council, to my undying shame. I failed to notice the plotting of my fellow counselors. Ah, I, who thought myself so wise, they disposed of the wizard king and his three servants, and turned their attention to any who might yet stand in their way. And they considered me an obstacle to their complete domination of Mother Kingdom. And seeing the grave danger I was in, I fled Nazca. I intended to bide my time, to rally forces loyal to the crown, and to return to exact my research for the council. But the choice I made was wrong. Should have remained at the Queen's side. But you couldn't, could you? Those rotters in the council were cutting for you, Mon. It's a risk that I should have taken. By leaving, I sealed the fate of the King entire kingdom. True. Allow me to explain. In addition to my duties as the Zodiac, I had been charged with educating Queen Cassiopeia in the ways of magic. I took it upon myself to create a compendium of spells and arcane knowledge which I presented to the young Queen. A compendium? You mean like a spell book, you mean? Uh, I rather think you know what I mean, but allow me to ask you the question, for old time's sake. What was the name of that book? Uh. Uh. Why am I bizarre? Need the apostrophe. <laughs> Damn it. Yes, you're quite right. I wrote the wizard's companion to aid Queen Cassiopeia in her magical education. But little did I know that this book would lead directly to the disaster that befell Aska. Can't be flippin' serious. How could the wizard's companion have led Nazca's destruction? What the heck are you on about, Mon? My desire to create a tome fit for a queen and included all manner of arcane magic, including the forbidden spell. I failed to include detailed notes on the rights and wrongs of using such potent incantations. I fled the kingdom before I could teach Queen Cassiopeia of the perils of the forbidden spell. So busy brooding on what manner of the revenge I would exact on the council that I failed in my duty of care to the queen. That's how she arrived at her fateful decision. That is why she did not know the true power of men. But it's my fault that Nazca fell and that Queen Cassiopeia was transformed into the White Witch. How could I ever make amends of what I did? It was unforgettable. Reduced to a spirit, doomed to roam the world for all eternity, how could I ever save that poor girl? Her fate. That is why I must humbly ask you to right my wrong. To save the queen, you are the only one who can offer. Don't worry, Horace. We'll save Queen Cassiopeia. We'll save the whole world, you see. Give my thanks, and I have some alpha chemical formula for you. Formula that I neglected to include in the wizard's companion. Pray that will aid you in your quest. Hey. I'm wondering. Oh, I had to get more. Now, for my final contribution to your cause, please accept this. Mirror of Truth. Oh. The great grand sage, the sagely looking ghost, has been waiting at Ara Marmoria. Seems he has something important to say. Queen Cassiopeia waits within. I wish you luck, Oliver, the pure hearted one, the savior of our world. I'm not gonna fight her again. <laughs> Alright, Cauldron, let's see what new stuff. Bard's Harp. Blossom of the Bard. I don't know where to get that. I do have three collab- I need those though. 
Uh, Kaleidostones, oh my god, those are such a pain to grind. I spent like an hour getting those five. Or, no, I spent an hour getting those two. <laughs> Scrolls of Truth, okay, I still haven't gotten one after grinding for f like two hours. Sky Tree Wand, Old Stick, Mirror of Truth, she. Let me read what that says. A mirror said to contain great truth. No reflection appears when one gazes. Alright, let's go. She wand. Better? That better be better than what I have. Uh, Astra is... 25. Are you kidding me? What's the point? It's a physical base one. Uh, okay. Alright, I think I'll end it here, and the next time we'll probably do those knights in the start. Those, those guys look interesting. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.